guys welcome back to my channel again it's AC Lawson channel so I'm just going to share something to you today on how I resolve the audio of my laptop if you've seen my previous video um, you will see that I have this MSI uh, gaming laptop um, because uh, last night I received an update okay, about the Windows 10. So since I receive it, I just uh, install it. Okay, I installed the uh, Windows 10 update. And then after installing it, it restarts by its own. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, it, 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 restar <laughs> it, it restarts by its own. The thing is, the backlight of my keyboard stays on. And then it takes forever to restart it. So um, I think like 30 or an hour, it stays like that. Okay. At first, I don't, I, I just ignore it because okay? I'm, I'm watching uh, uh, videos last night. Uh, after watching the shows, okay, it's still doing the same thing. Okay. So what I did, I press and hold the power button, okay, to shut it off. Okay. Completely shut off. I when I turned it back on I've seen that the icon of the uh, speaker it has X at the bottom okay so basically there's problem I know this um, because when I played something on it on my laptop there's no sound okay so what I did I ran the um, I, I ran the troubleshooting and it keeps saying hardware is not connected okay because uh, it's asking about external speaker wherein if it is a laptop it has its own speaker so i shouldn't be using an external unless i really want it really loud or if i want to use my headphones okay that's the only thing i should use an external speaker but for the regular basis um i shouldn't i I don't need an external speaker, right? So after running all the troubleshooting and uh, it keeps saying like that. So what I did, I actually go to the, uh, I even go to the proper, I even uh, went to the uh, properties, audio properties. And then I noticed that um, the driver that should be there was not there. And then the the default settings, it's grayed out. So basically, I, can't, I really can't do anything about it. Okay, it's grayed out. So, and then I check the, okay. So since this thing happens after the update of, after instantly, after installing the update of Windows 10. So what I did, I uninstall it. Okay, and install the update, okay, and hoping that it should work. Because normally, if you have problem with the update, you just need to uninstall it and it should go, it should uh, work. But that's not the case, okay? It didn't work. It still didn't work even in after the uninstallation of the Windows 10 update. Okay? So, what I did... I actually went to the device manager. Okay, here's how I went to the device manager. So I just type in device manager. I went to the device manager. And then I went to sound video controllers. Okay, the only option here is the Galaxy A7 hands-free because that's my phone. And then the hands-free AG, AG audio and uh, high wire stereo, which is uh, my small speaker. Okay, and then the NVIDIA virtual audio device. That is the only options here. Okay, before I resolve this problem. Okay. This Nahimic, I don't know if I pronounce it right, but it's Nahimic mirroring device and this Realtek R audio was not there. Okay. And then when I went to the system devices, I saw this high definition audio controller. 
this one has exclamation point okay uh, so because if you've seen something like if you've seen something like this with the small icons here if you've seen some uh, like exclamation point okay there's really a problem so what I did I right click and then go to the properties to check and this thing the message here is uh, code 10 failed something like that okay so and then I even tried to update the driver uninstall it reinstall it still didn't work okay so there's problem with this okay there was a problem with this okay and this is the speaker I'm talking to you about this thing it has uh, used to have an X here meaning there's problem with it there's X here and then this one has exclamation point and the the driver for my sound card should be here but these are not present okay that was not there so the question how I resolve the problem okay here's what I did I uh, I hit uh, windows you know the windows thing the four square thing i'll just put that <laughs> i'll just put that on this video okay just a small thing the windows uh if if uh you're a tech savvy or you're you you know uh, any anything about the laptop you know what i'm talking about but if not i'm just going to show this small picture i, I hit windows and then i hit r okay so this thing will show up here okay so i just type in this services that msc i type this in okay it's uh when i hit the windows r this is the thing will sh uh this is the thing showed up okay and then i hit um services msc i type in ser <laughs> services that msc and then i hit okay okay and this thing showed up you have to look for Windows audio let me try to find that can't find it okay <coughs> this Windows audio they say it should say running okay if it is not you have to right click and then hit start okay to change it okay but since it's running here where am i here since it says running so i just need i just hit a uh, windows audio okay so after hitting the windows audio i hit right click and then go to the properties okay and then you're gonna see this the audio service windows audio and then this thing should be automatic okay this should be automatic okay and then you just need to hit okay apply or not you just need to hit okay okay and then after that restart the service turn it off or restart it okay once you restart it the X that I'm talking about will be gone it will be fixed that's how I resolve the problem in my laptop okay I'm um, actually I tried to even uh, I even tried to uh, I was tempted actually I was tempted to reset my laptop but I don't want to lose my uh, my the other application uh, I installed after I bought it. The pre-installed or in your, in your personal files will stay there. But once I reset it, my uh, my Windows applic I mean uh, my Microsoft Office application will be gone. My uh, my antivirus will be gone. So I don't want to do that so that's why i tried to find ways so that's what i did okay. because uh, before that actually i went to the forum of msi 
and uh, I've seen or I read that uh, somebody had the same problem and uh, somebody answered on uh, on the forum uh, how are they gonna fix it I follow those and it didn't work okay so this is how I resolve my problem so I'm just sharing it to you guys okay just in case you're going to encounter this uh, that is the solution of if you are having problem with your speaker okay internal speaker of your laptop anyway again so thank you so much for watching uh, thank you so much to all my subscribers to those who haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel thank you again so much and see you again on my next video bye